Hi science fellas, let's see how transcription is like in prokaryotes. By definition, transcription is the production of RNA based on DNA sequence as template. An example I'm going to use in this video is E. coli. For the transcription to begin, we need some certain ingredients. Of course, we need DNA as template. We need ribonucleoside triphosphates. Uh, or the short form is RNTPs. Why ribonucleoside triphosphates? Because we're making ribonucleic acids or RNA and we need RNA polymerase. This RNA polymerase is the enzyme that catalyzes production of RNA based on DNA sequence and it has four major components. First it has alpha, it has beta, it has beta prime and it has sigma. The first three subunits are responsible for ensuring that RNA polymerase is bound to DNA and this last one is responsible for recognizing two key elements on DNA for the transcription to begin. Transcription has uh, three main stages. First one is initiation, then we have uh, elongation and lastly we have termination. Starting with um, initiation, for transcription of a gene to begin, uh, obviously RNA must bind to DNA, but where exactly does it bind to? Um, if this is our DNA molecule, so it's our gene, upstream of a gene towards its 5' end, there's a region called the promoter. And this promoter has two key elements called minus 35 and minus 10. What these numbers mean, minus 35 and minus 10, respectively, they mean 35 and 10 nucleotides away from the transcription initiation part. So the first nucleotide that is transcribed is plus 1, and these two behind it are minus 10 and minus 35. These two elements are recognized by the sigma factor of RNA polymerase. If this one is our RNA polymerase, and in the middle I draw the sigma factor which is around here maybe I should okay and I put the name sigma over here the initial binding between the polymerase and a promoter is referred to as closed promoter complex and that's because the DNA is not unwound yet, it's closed. The polymerase then breaks the hydrogen bonds in the double helix, unwinds the double helix around minus 10 element to form an open complex, which I'm going to draw for you over here. I draw the RNA polymerase over here. This is our RNA polymerase here. and in the middle is the sigma factor I name it sigma and this is our open loop notice that two DNA strands are exposed, but of these two strands, only one of them is going to be transcribed. The template strand is the one with free tray prime end of DNA, and the new transcript starts with phi prime. So ribonucleoside triphosphates are added to this free tree prime end of a DNA to form the phi prime end of RNA transcript over here. I draw it with blue, and it's phi prime here. All right. Now, after the addition of about uh, the first 10 ribonucleoside triphosphates, the sigma factor is released from the polymerase and that is the end of initiation. After initiation is the elongation, RNA polymerase moves along the DNA template this direction to continue elongation of the growing RNA, RNA transcript and as it travels the polymerase unwinds the template DNA ahead of it and rewinds the DNA behind it. Then there is termination. I'm going to draw termination down here. 
The simplest and most common type of termination signal in E. coli consists of a symmetrical inverted repeat of a GC-rich sequence followed by four or more A residues. So let me draw RNA polymerase over here towards the end of the gene. And the sigma factor is gone, obviously, as I mentioned before. This is our unwound DNA template. Okay, around here is our termination site. Termination site. The RNA that has been made looks something like this. And this is the loop, as you can see. Now over here is the GC rich region. And followed by it is the A residues. Transcription of a GC-rich region on DNA over here gave rise to the GC-rich region RNA to form a loop structure by complementary base pairing. And the formation of such a self-complementary -compl structure in uh, RNA disrupts its um, association with the DNA template. And then a helicase protein called Rho protein, this is Rho, it recognizes a site on RNA transcript. Here is 5 prime. And the rho, a rho protein, is a helicase. And it binds to RNA transcript and moves from its 5 prime direction to 3 prime direction towards RNA polymerase where it is bound. And it causes the complex to dissociate. And as a result, it terminates the transcription.